I'll have to admit, gamers in general are pretty hard to buy for, but retro gamers are on a whole other level. We like to receive gifts that are of high quality and are about the games and things that we love the most, so buying something random sometimes just doesn't fit the bill. So if you're looking to buy gifts for a friend who is into retro gaming, or if you're looking to treat yourself this Christmas, I'm hoping this guide here will help you do just that. <laughs> It'd be rude not to start this gift guide off with a retro handheld seeing as this channel here reviews a lot of them and the one that has impressed me the most this year has to be the RG351 MP. It's made by a company called Ambernic who are renowned for making high quality handheld emulators and this is basically all of the best bits from their previous products all rammed into a pocket friendly metal shell with a stunning 4x3 display. The RG351 MP is featuring an old chip, but don't let this fool you because this handheld here can emulate everything up to PlayStation 1 and even a few smaller N64 games too, meaning you can have Spyro the Dragon, Pokemon Gold, Super Mario, all in your pocket ready to be played wherever you are. And the reason the RG351 MP beats anything else on the market, or the affordable market shall I say, is simply due to its build quality. The metal shell makes this thing incredibly durable, and match that with the stunning 4x3 display and an easy to use operating system you know will last for years to come, unlike these Android handhelds which get slow and outdated in a couple of years. This is the handheld that I use personally most of the time, and I absolutely love it. You may have seen these floating around our Instagram recently and that's because the more they release them, the more I want to collect them all. These are retro art pieces from a company called Grid Studios. They simply take apart a broken piece of tech and frame them in a way that looks like the insect taxidermy that we've all seen before. Instead, they lay out every piece of retro tech. For example, here we have some Game Boy ones that look absolutely stunning. And it's a great way to use broken consoles in a way that can be seen as art and maybe even preservation. Alongside that, they package these up incredibly well to a point where you could call this product a premium piece of art. Everything is just laid out so well. I personally have had three of these and none of the parts have have fallen off or broken, nor has the frame for that matter. So I can comfortably say these are some of the best retro gaming pieces of art you can buy, even if it does cost you a pretty penny. They are somewhat hard to get hold of too due to demand and the struggle to get hold of broken tech, but I can assure you this is one of the best gifts to buy a retro gamer. Their products are incredible. The Evercade Versus is a new retro games console launching in December, but lucky for us we've had the chance to review it just for you. The Evercade Versus uses cartridges to play old retro games from the past, and Evercade's goal for the Versus is to bring back the physical culture of games and to help the return of couch co-op games in modern day homes. The console itself can connect up to four controllers and even two cartridges at the same time. Previously, Evercade built a handheld, but now they want you to play with friends and family using the exact same cartridges as the handheld. They have over 200 games available for the consoles and the handheld, so choosing something that you love won't be a problem. The user interface is also incredibly easy to use, making it great for children and for us oldies that want that nostalgic feeling again. The games I played were emulated flawlessly, with no hiccups at all, making the gaming experience refreshing on a HD TV. The console itself retails for around about £99 here in the UK, and the cartridges start at around about 20 These cartridges come with a selection of games, so you'll have a wide number of choices to choose from when you pick up a single cartridge. Overall, it's a refreshing console to play on in a time where everything is so digital, and the fact that they're bringing back physical cartridges and user manuals really makes me enjoy collecting games again. It can't be a gift guide without a book, and over the last two years, I've read a lot of retro gaming books, but one of my favorites is the Game Boy Box Art Collection from Bitmap Books. It's a simple book and at times a bit repetitive, but it's something I just love picking up now and then to discover new games and new facts about the much loved Game Boy. 
It's a coffee table book. It's thick, full of colour and can take a beating just like mine. But the best thing about it is picking it up with a whiskey in hand and doing some much needed reading on a Sunday evening. The pages inside are very colourful, bright and thick so you won't get any rips and the introduction at the start goes into a lot of detail about the console. And I know what you're thinking, Brandon, is there any books about handhelds? No, not yet, but I'll let you into a little secret, I might be working on one so keep your eyes peeled next year. If elves had a handheld, this would be it. The world's smallest clamshell handheld known as the Funky S. Ever since I got my hands on a product sample early this year, I fell in love with it and the team behind it. The Funky S is quite simply a tiny Game Boy Advance SP jam-packed with emulators and a pretty powerful CPU. This might amaze you actually, but this little thing here can actually play PS1 games incredibly well. Who knew you could play Crash Bandicoot on a keychain? The team behind it have kept the nostalgic feeling of snapping the screen down and they've even worked hard on the user interface, allowing it to be easy to use for all ages. And a simple button will save the game and even your game library shows the box art in alphabetical order. It just feels nice. Yes, if you sit on it, it will crumble into a thousand pieces, but that's a part of the cuteness and the device. It's one of the most innovative, adorable handhelds of the year, and it's made by a small, passionate team of handheld enthusiasts, and they just love what they do. Tiger Electronics were the go-to back in the 90s. They dominated the toy market and also dominated the handheld market with what can only be called as a cereal box toy lookalike, also known as the LCD video game player that can play one single game. But back then this was awesome and scores were plastered with them. They came in all different shapes and sizes and featured a wide number of different video games. The one we have here is Sonic the Hedgehog 3, but it was made in 2021 instead of 1994. Tiger Electronics are bringing back these nostalgic handheld consoles, but keeping the LCD single game nature of it. This is to entice children into the handheld scene and to keep old folks like me entertained for hours. This one here only cost me 20 quid and it looks like it's came straight out of the 90s. It plays a single game on an LCD display, but it has a wide number of different modes built in. If you're looking for a gift to treat someone who was born in the 90s, then they'll love these little Tiger Electronic consoles. Ah, Pokemon. It's one of my favourite things to collect, and the great thing about them is that they're now somewhat cool again. And they only cost like $5 a card, so if you want, you can stuff these in the stockings or go all out and snag a $50 Elite Trainer box like I have. This set here is the 25th anniversary set, which goes over the last 25 years of Pokemon and even has reprints of old nostalgic cards from the original set. If you have a friend that's into Pokemon, these are the set to buy because not only are they deemed as collectibles, it goes back through the history of TCG, bringing back nostalgic memories and a dose of modern design. If this set doesn't tickle your fancy, Pokemon are releasing new sets every few months, so it's best to see what you think your friend or family member will prefer. But this set here will please any Pokemon enthusiast because of the sheer collectible rare cards inside of the set, like the OG Charizard. The reason I actually featured this box is because I wanted it and I can use it as a tax expense for this video. More handhelds? Damn right. And if you thought the Funky S was small, just wait. This is technically the world's smallest video games console and it's called Thumby. Probably because it's the same size as a thumb. Many of you are probably wondering how the hell you play this thing and I'm not sure either, but the tiny D-pad and tiny action buttons actually work, allowing you to play small games like Snake and Tetris. That's if you can see it. The Thumbby comes with a 0.2 inch OLED display that has a whopping resolution of 72 by 40. It also has five pre-built games that remind us of the old classics back in the day. And it also has a micro USB-C port, sorry, micro USB port at the bottom that you can charge, but also play your friends with. So it acts like a trading cable or a link cable like the good old days. Nintendo recently released a new handheld. 
and no, not the Switch OLED, but this, the Legend of Zelda Game & Watch. This is a respectful nod to one of Nintendo's first ever handhelds which was released back in the 80s. Now, in 2021, they have modernised it with a bright display, longer battery life, USB-C charging and multiple games in one. That's right, this thing here features three Zelda games, The Legend of Zelda, the Adventure of Link, and finally Link's Awakening. And playing Link's Awakening on this thing is just incredible. Not only that, it has vermin and a couple of interactive timers should you want to use this as a clock. This is basically a great gift for Zelda fans and handheld collectors. It's a great product that I can't help but love. Yes, it doesn't do much, but it's a piece that's definitely going in my collection anyway. You may have seen these awesome phone chargers on our Twitter lately and that's because we managed to get our hands on the Sonic Power Idols. These are created by Numskull Designs and are quite simply wireless phone chargers that look like video game and movie characters. The one I have here is Sonic, but what's unique about this wireless charger is that it has the body of the original Sonic the Hedgehog on Mega Drive. And this is where the charger is basically situated, so when the phone sits on the game, it charges. Overall, it's a great affordable little product that fits all ages and they're also launching VHS versions too, like the Back to the Future version and this Jules version. Like many of Numskull's products, they like to bring out new variants quite frequently, so if these don't interest you, keep an eye out for the links below because they're likely to come out with more. It's a simple yet thoughtful gift. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this quick gift review guide thing, whatever it is, gift guide, that's the one. There are links below to where you can purchase all of these and there is a link to our website for even more uh, gift recommendations. So if you like this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.